What is up guys? Today we have another video. I wasn't really going to do a vlog today. Well, I was going to do a vlog tonight because tonight I'm going to a car meet in, uh, it's like Daily City, it's by SF, but that's going to be a whole separate video from the one I'm doing right now. I'm going to try to push out like as many Mustang related videos with my car as possible before I sell it. The car is up for sale on Craigslist now, so if you guys want a Mustang, go look on Craigslist. But today we're going to do a video on the Mustang. I'll explain a little bit later once I'm inside the car, and then I think we're going to meet up with Alex. I forgot to mention, uh, before I get rid of the Mustang, I want you guys to comment down below if you guys want me to make any videos regarding the Mustang. So. Any, like, cause the video I'm about to do today, which I'm sure you guys know what it is from the title, uh, someone commented down below and um, wanted me to do a video on it, so I figured I would do a video on it. So just comment down below if you guys want me to go over something or an experience, like how I feel about something about the Mustang. I can tell you one thing is that I'm gonna be low key missing this car. So we just got to the spot where I normally shoot a lot of my Mustang videos and I'm finally going to introduce the topic for this video today. I'm going to be talking about the different driving modes on uh, the Mustang. So a couple things to know when we're talking about the driving modes is what they change. What it touches on is throttle response, um, traction control, and your uh, steering um, feel basically. So when you're going through these modes, there's basically a range from safety to performance driving modes that allow you to kind of feel for the road and just give you that driving experience that you want to feel at that moment. So just to show you guys, let's go ahead and get it up on the display here. So what we're in right now is normal driving and normal steering. It's not comfort mode, but it gives you a little bit of um, a stiffer experience than the comfort mode in steering. As of driving it in normal, um, traction control is turned on and uh, the um, throttle response is nothing crazy. It's just normal, it's normal driving mode. Now it is possible to go in just a different steering mode with still being in normal driving mode. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go ahead and flick it on to sport steering. But then if we go into driving mode, it stays normal. So we can drive with a stiffer feel in the steering wheel with still being in normal driving so this keeps on uh, traction control and it keeps uh, the normal throttle response. And same goes for comfort. Comfort steering is a lot softer than normal. I guess the word to call it is like a less rigid uh, feel with the steering so you feel less kind of gripping on the road. It's kind of hard to explain but basically comfort mode is for a very light steering uh, feel. I normally leave it in uh, normal steering with normal driving just around town because it's a comfortable uh, driving mode but at the same time it does feel like there's a bit of grip when I'm steering. Now we're gonna go into the different driving modes. So we got selective driving mode for Sport Plus. This gives a bit of a different throttle response, uh, a lot more aggressive but it keeps on traction control as you can see. Traction control is not turned off. So selective driving in Sport Plus is a, uh, as you can see if we put it in Sport Plus, it puts the steering in Sport, so it's a lot more of a responsive steering feel and uh, the throttle response is a lot different, but it also keeps traction control turned on. Also, with the Sport Plus, there are quicker transmission shift points, a little bit crisper shifts when you're changing gears in Sport Plus. Now let's move on to the track mode. This is basically going to be your most aggressive driving experience. This is going to have the traction control turned off, as well as all the same things that came with the, um, the Sport Plus. So the stiffer steering, the, uh, the throttle response, um, and then the shifting points as well. So this is gonna be what you're gonna put on at the track when it's a hot day out and it's dry and you are basically looking to push the car to somewhat of its limits. So this is your track mode right here. And last but not least, I think this is a pretty cool uh, driving mode is the wet and snow feature. This is actually a super weird mode. Uh, it pops up a little icicle and a couple raindrops there. This is obviously gonna turn traction control on it's gonna put your steering in normal, your throttle response is gonna be totally different, and then it's gonna put your shifting in uh, normal as well. So, as of throttle response, um, when you are in the snow and wet mode, it's gonna assume that you're in snow or icy roads or wet road. So, when you go to press the throttle down here, the throttle response is gonna be super laggy. So, basically, but if you step on the gas, 
it's gonna kind of cut off your throttle so that you don't spin out, you don't you know, do anything crazy. Now, I know I kind of explained a little bit about the driving modes and how they feel and what they do. Now I'm gonna talk about basically my favorite driving modes to be in. So when it's wet out, like I said, I normally don't put it in the wet or snow mode. I just keep it normal and keep it cool. But on a day out like today where it's really sunny, um, it's extremely dry roads, it's kind of hot out actually, um, I just keep it normal driving and normal driving, uh, normal driving and normal steering selective mode. So, um, driving around town, in my opinion, in Sport Plus is a little janky because the throttle response on uh, Sport Plus, um, it's kind of hard to get the shifts down leaving out of first. I mean, it's totally doable. It's nothing crazy. It's just a lot more comfortable to drive in normal mode versus Sport Plus. If I'm on the freeway, it's a little bit different, especially merging on a freeway. Maybe I'll throw it in Sport Plus just to get that uh, quick throttle response. But in uh, freeway driving, I'll normally keep it in Sport Plus just to kind of have that extra little like fun kind of thing to play around with. Um, because there is a noticeable difference when you're driving in normal to Sport Plus with the uh, throttle response. Um, it's a lot quicker. So that's just what I do when I'm driving around uh, with the driving modes. I think the driving modes are swoop, like a super cool thing that Ford incorporated into this. I know that the uh, new Camaro SS has different driving modes and then there's obviously the uh, the exhaust modes as well that you can change. So with the new cars today, the computers and all the electronics are just allowing you to change up all kinds of dampening and stuff with the car. So uh, that's it for the driving modes right now. I'm going to continue this vlog right now. I'm going to go meet up with Alex. I'm just going to show up at his house and then uh, see what he's doing. We got a car meet to attend to tonight. See what we can get into before tonight. And let's get to it. Talking mushrooms. You're super out of focus, but... Uh, I'm assuming you're doing your exercises. I'm doing a little stretch in. A little stretch in. Future dream garage right here, boy. S2K track and a daily GTR. So this is pretty bad. I'm already losing subscribers because I'm selling the Mustang. I hit 12K this morning, and now I just dropped down. Oh, crap. It's not going to focus. Dropped down to 11,995. I lost about 15 subs. I might have unsubscribed. <laughs> is... Uh, is it that bad that I'm buying a Honda? You guys are unsubscribed. That's pretty crazy. Honestly, it's pretty crazy. How do you? How is that how bad? How are you gonna unsubscribe to this? Come how's on. that bad? Come on. How are you gonna unsubscribe? Come how's on. that bad? Come on, guys. Seriously. Come on. We are finally rolling out. We're taking the Subi. Can I just? I just need to show some appreciation of this car. So we just made it downtown. I'm still super uncomfortable vlogging in public. Alex broke a Subaru. There's a part. There's something broken. It's a little cup holder or something. Like it's full of change. So there's change everywhere now. I think I actually broke it. So we just got done eating, uh, we're in the Subaru again, we're going to cruise out. I think we're going to go hit Westcliff, kind of just kick it a little bit. We're just getting ready for this meet coming up, so it should be good. So Alex and I are just hanging out on Westcliff. You guys just saw that small little edit. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because we are gonna go back to Alex's house, edit this video that you guys are watching right now, and then I'm gonna get ready to go to this car meet tonight. Uh, should be pretty sweet. Hopefully I'll be able to see you guys, see some of you guys there. Um, if I do, I'll try to put them in the video. But thanks guys for watching. Keep moving backwards. Keep moving backwards? That's a funny one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I hope that the um, driving mode selection part was like helpful to some of you guys that commented down below about it, so yes. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.